Today we are discussing about skyway propagation and effect of earth magnetic field. First we are discussing about skyway propagation. As in the figure shows, skyway propagation means a transmitting signal from a transmitter is reflected back to the earth purpose by ionosphere. Ionosphere is a layer of atmosphere which is having charged particles, ions, electrons and all. The, it is extended above 80 km to 300 km from the earth's surface. The reflected signal from ionosphere, the reflected signal from ionosphere is called as hope or skip. This is a radio wave with a frequency range of 2 MHz to 30 MHz. Uh, there are terms, some terms which is related with skyway propagation is critical frequency and skip distance. Critical frequency is the highest frequency, the highest frequency of radio wave which is reflecting back to the earth surface by ionosphere. Skip distance is the shortest distance between uh, transmitter and receiver at a fixed frequency which is called a skip distance. Uh, this is mainly used in long distance communication such as satellite communication, mobile communication, etc. Example for this skyway propagation is CB radio, amateur radio and all. Now let's discuss about formation of ionosphere layer which is very important for skyway propagation. Now we are discussing about formation of ionosphere layer. As you know that sun is radiating very strong wave which is called as cosmic wave. So now I am drawing the cosmic rays coming from the sun. The density of the cosmic rays is very high in the top layers. This is I am drawing the cosmic layers which is very highly dense in the uppermost layers. Density of atom is very high in the lower layers of the sky. So we can draw in the highly density, high density of atoms. Density of atom is very high in the lower layer. As we move upwards from the earth's surface, the density of atom is reduced. Density of atom is reduced as we move upward. That is, a density of atom is little lesser than the previous layer. Here, the density of atom is little more reduced. This is the uh, density of atom uh, arranged. Now, what is happening is the cosmic rays radiating from the sun is hitting in these atoms and will generating the ions. That means, let's uh, assume this is an atom. A cosmic ray is hitting. The energy is released and iron is formed, that is positively charged electron and hole. So the when the cosmic ray is hitting on electron, the an iron is generated. So when the cosmic ray is hitted, these atoms are turned into ions. So number of ion is less in the top region and when we move in to downward the density of the ion is increased so the cosmic ray is very high very dense high in the top region and after hitting and it is making this ion and it moves to the next layer at that time the, the density of cosmic rays ray is reduced cosmic ray is reduced when it is moving downwards so this layer also is ionized then the cosmic ray is coming to the next line so the uh, density of cosmic ray is also reduced so now it's all everything become ionized next we are consuming uh, sending a signal that is from a transmitting antenna we are sending a signal 
first we are sending signal with low frequency then it will be reflected back by touching the lower layer so this is the uh, low frequency signal reflected back Now we are sending another signal with high frequency that is reflecting back by hitting the another layer. Now again we are sending another frequency which is having a high frequency which is reflected back by hitting the top layer. So when we are sending low frequency, it is reflected by hitting the lower layer. When we increase the frequency, it will be hit, uh, reflected back while touching the higher layers. The reason for this reflection is, as you already said that, this is a uh, denser media and this is low, less denser media. So when this, uh, when, when a, a layer, we can say that this is denser medium. low denser medium when a signal is sending if it is having an angle greater than critical angle then it will be reflecting back to the same medium this principle is used for skyway propagation this principle is used for skyway propagation this is all about skyway propagation discuss about effect of earth magnetic field it's also known as geomagnetic field it's a magnetic field which is extended from earth interior out into the space where it interacts with the solar wind the ma earth magnetic field is generated by electric current work this due to the motion of convention current by molten iron in the earth core now let's study the detail about effect of earth magnetic field this is the computer simulation of earth field in a period of normal polarity. The line represents magnetic field. The blue line which indicates the field which indicates the field points towards the center and yellow when away. The rotation axis of the earth is centered and vertical. 